challenge the spirit of laziness in your life some of you without developing your gift people have started commenting on it imagine what happens when you develop it I, I hope you still like me please listen listen to me nobody goes to a mango tree without mango and just starts clapping and is happy you look at the tree you may stay a few minutes to get shade and move but once it is time for mango as it starts coming out it starts the the fruit is calling you the mango does not want followers the mango is not looking for followers but it is too gifted to be ignored the mango does not go around calling for followers it just keeps building the mango and because hunger is something you cannot resist you may ignore it for a while but one day when the sun scorches you and you stand and watch this mango trees don't call men they only produce fruits and men have to swallow their pride have you seen the skills that people employ to climb trees all because they are looking for i once saw a video of um i think they were trying to this this palm palm i think the one they climb with as though they are climbing a ladder I said you mean all this skill to reach that tree be gifted and watch how people will inconvenience themselves with joy to come and place a demand on the grace of God upon your life when people give excuses of time excuses of comfort is because your gift is not notable enough I assure you ask the herbalist a politician respectfully speaking will come with his whole dignity and meet a man in a tattered room and not ask whether there is AC and not ask whether the man can speak English. The man says, turn behind and move backward. And he says, yes, sir. Because he knows that my, my political career is at the mercy of that. May you be so gifted in the name of Jesus. May your gift be so refined that it will be impossible for a generation to ignore you believe what i share with you there are people in this country who cannot go out of a job for one month believe me believe me in as much as we are saying there is no job there are companies that if some of their people cough they will buy a pharmacy not a drug make up your mind that you will be so gifted if it's a ministry discern the dimensions of God's grace that he has put and work it out place your life upon it apostle God has called me to be a prophet like who everything you prophesy is wrong the world will not place a demand on that kind of grace let's let in the name of honesty are we together apostle god has called me to be a kingdom financier let me know what you know about finances can you talk to kings you are talking to your colleagues and you are happy about it your colleagues are not billionaires thank god for them but your goal is to be able to mentor kings that a nation will call you to hear the counsel of god upon your life make up your mind that you will not be small go back and refine your gifts apostle do you know i can cook can the governor eat your food because you see you have to serve kings to receive the rewards of kings am i challenging you let me tell you this there is nothing that it that is of value that is not in sufficient demand in this life to bless you if you are deep in every industry there are people at the top is those who are at the top that enjoy the blessings make up shake away mediocrity when people are clapping for you look at those clapping for you if they are not kings keep moving mark one 37 
and when they had found him this was the story of Jesus Jesus had finished healing doing several things he ran away to go and just rest and pray and men would not let him rest there was such a magnetic property let me tell you being gifted carries a strange a strange magnetic property it's amazing the level of inconvenience people will go through with joy when you are gifted I assure you in today's world most likely it's only your family that will love you whether you are valuable or not God and your family members they are enough to support you but not enough to reward you the vast majority of your reward will be in the hands of people who are in desperate need they need people who are gifted I made a vow with God that you will never meet me twice to be blessed no. can you rise to that level of grace can you rise to that level of value you are a CEO your company what solutions are you providing can I meet you once and be addicted to you because of the power of the value that you carry you know people give me all kinds of gifts and people paint me and sometimes when I see the photo they give I say you mean this is me you didn't see it you know of course I love what they did but ah I say oh no no come on please Are we together and yet there are a few that i look at and i'm like you drew this you say yes sir what do you do you say once in a while i just do it and i'm saying my goodness once in a while i would I, I i would pay a thousand times for this nigerians wake up believers wake up there is something you have that the world is looking for and can i tell you they will not come to you while you are growing they will come to the refined version of you If your pastor hides today and says he's not going to preach for five months he's going to have to beg God in that retreat and say God release me to bless people because they will not let him rest someone's home at least will be on fire enough for them to call him and say sir please wake up I don't care whether you are having a retreat in the name of Jesus if it takes flying you to this place oh you need to see how men react to real value Your desire of decades can come to you in a moment when you make up your mind to be truly valuable. These are the laws of advancement. You enter your Sabbath to the degree to which you are valuable. You rise to a point where competition is no longer a possibility. You never have planes clashing with themselves in the air. There is enough space there. Traffic is usually down. Listen to me listen to me do you know that as i'm standing here right now i'm rounding up as i'm standing here right now no matter how i stretch i can't see the island no matter how i stretch i can't see abel kuta ogun state because i'm on the ground but a star can be shining here and i can call someone in another state he can still see the same star because it is high to the sky if you become that star from where you are you don't have to be moving anywhere people look at you was it not a star that was shining the, the same star called the magi right to that place where jesus was spiritually i know that some of us here are in ministry and you came to just honor pastor and honor the conference god is challenging us there is a dimension of grace spiritual illumination value that can be brought when you bring something the table of greatness is still empty but you don't sit down for nothing you first present your gift then you sit down and life must vet that gift there is a threshold level of competence and accuracy that grants you access to sit down make up your mind that you will take away shame and reproach from your life and your family in the name of jesus christ
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.